Welcome, everybody. We are delighted today to have uh, Linda Bielan, the owner of Your Outdoor Solutions, and she is going to introduce us to an online uh, program called Evernote. Linda has over 13 years as an executive assistant and over 11 years as a data financial analyst working with Fortune 500 companies in the United States. Now, Linda decided to become an entrepreneur two years ago and founded Your Outsource Solutions so that she could help entrepreneurs and online marketers from all over the United States and Canada, helping them to promote and grow their business. Well, welcome, Linda. We are delighted to have you. Thank you, Joanne. I'm glad to be here. Um, today I would like to um, introduce a tool that I use a lot um, every day for my business, my personal needs, and um, whatnot. Um, it's a fabulous tool. Um, they have a free version and they do have a paid pro version. Um, I have used it since April of this year and I have not needed to upgrade to the pro version and I use it to keep track um, of a lot of my clients' tasks and projects that I need to do each day. Um, I use it to keep track of my um, recipes if I need to take it with me to the grocery store um, so that I don't have to print it out or write down um, the information because the one good thing about Evernote is it works um, through a web browser. It also works through um, your desktop application that you can download for free, um, and it works both on PC and, and the Mac. Um, and it also works, uh, works on your iPhone. It has an iPhone app, and you can just download it for free through the App Store and iTunes, um, and um, log into your account, and you're good to go. And everything syncs up together. Um, automatically um, preset, it will do it every, I believe every, you can set it to what you want, five minutes um, intervals or, or however frequent you need it to be. Um, and everything will be in sync. Um, so um, first of all, you need to go to the screen, which is um, www.evernote.com. Um, and this is the page you will see. Um, and I believe they've just redesigned everything so it looks a little more attractive, more um, more, um, you know, um, explanatory of what they are offering here. Um, once you um, get to this page, um, if you want to sign up for a free account, all you have to do is come to the right top here to get started. Click on that, um, and you will be brought to this page where all you have to do is just fill in your full name, email address, create a username and password for yourself. Um, and confirm your password and do the little um, security capture um, words down here and you hit the register button and you're good to go. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because I already have an account. Um, so what I'll do at the Evernote.com page is click on the sign in for the web version. Um, I will put my username in and my password. Oops. <laughs> Fingers are not working today. There we go. Well, it's always nice okay. to know that it doesn't work for you too sometimes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's very true. We all have our little uh, moments when things just don't, don't you know, work um, the way we want them to. But um, if you come in here, I have, you see I have a lot of different um, things I have created here like we were doing last week's class on, um, on an instant teleseminar demo. Um, I have notes I have for myself, for, for my newsletter, you know, little things about Snow Leopard, you know, that they just released and I upgraded and I need some information. And um, I've created a new notebook here so that we can show you how it works. Um, all you have to do is create a new notebook, call notebook, give it whatever name you want. Let's say I'll call it um, iMac Notes. Okay, so you have a new note here, so I will bring up a new browser and say I want to go to apple.com. Okay, now I want to find out some information about my iMac. So I want to go and do a search on the Mac store. And let's say this is the page with all the information that I want to store for you know, future reference. Well, 
normally what you would do is do like a cut and paste and go into your notebook over here on Evernote and paste it in. Well, there is a neat little tool that you can install into your browser, and it works with Safari, and it works with Firefox, both PC and Mac versions. And what it will do is create a little icon here. You see right up here? Um, if you click on that, it will bring up your Evernote desktop account application, and you can go into your YOS notebook right in there, and it will ask you, do you want to sync all the text recognition? Click yes, and there you go. You have all the information from the web page in your Evernote. And all the links here are clickable, and it will bring you back to the web page. Um, I'm not going to do that now because then it will be like flipping through too many screens for you. But um, that's how you would work Evernote. And if you come in here um, and you want to say you want to add some you know text like notes for you know uh, recipes or grocery list, whatever you would like to do, um, and hit save and close it. Now if I go back into my Evernote over here and hit the sync. you will see the grocery list here that I just did on the iMac notes. So this is the desktop version, and this is the web version. And if you have an iPhone app that you've uploaded to your iPhone, it will be there as well, and you can take it to the store with you. And I, and I use it very often. I forget stuff, and it's in there. Um, and even if you don't remember it, it will sync it, so it will always be there for you. And you also have the ability to um, you know, use it through Google Notebook, um, where you can import your Google Notebook into here through the import um, function that they have. Um, the account is free, um, and you have a monthly allowance of 40 megabytes. Um, and you can al you'll also be given an Evernote. Um, I'll go into set settings and show you. Um, you will be given like 40 megabytes. You can see a monthly upload allowance, and what that means is you can. Um, upload information to them between and sync and everything up to 40 megabytes a month. And when the monthly cycle starts, it starts over again. It doesn't mean it's based on what you store on their service. It's how much you um, transfer back and forth. Um, if you upgrade, it's only $5 a month for the pro version, or you can do a, it's $45 a year, and what you get is 500 megabytes, more security, and you get premium support. Um, and um, they're adding more um, you know, new tools for the um, premium version as we speak. Um, you will also be given, when you set up an account, an email um, address for Evernote, so that if you sell an e something you want to email into your notes in your Evernote and you're not able to access it, um, you can use that and you know, send notes to yourself. It will automatically create a note in your Evernote for you. Um, there's, there's a lot of uh, cool features they have in here. Um, and you can invite a friend, sign up through here. You can update your account here, and you can also send a gift to a friend who you think would um, benefit from using, um, you know, the premium service from Evernote. Um, I hope this has been helpful. And um, you know, as as always, you know, tools are always evolving. So if you want to find out the latest um, add-ons they're adding to Evernote, just go to www.evernote.com, and I'm sure. Um, as we go along, there's going to be more good things happening for Evernote. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed this, the um, demonstration here today. Well, Linda, that was terrific. We did have somebody uh, uh, type in a little message, a question. You mentioned that you could get this on the iPhone. Some of the folks also have Blackberries and so forth. Is this available for other platforms like that as well? Oh, most definitely. It, it does work as well on Blackberries as well, as well as the iPhone. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a very user-friendly, and it's, um, they even have, um, if you go into um, their website right here, um, let me sign out. So we are back into their main page here. 
Um, if you want to learn more, just click the Learn More button right here. And voila, here's everything that tells you what it does. And um, you know, it's great. Um, you know, we'll work on your phone, computer, um, and so you know, you can get even little videos over here um, that will show you everything you need to know um, on how to use Evernote. So I hope that that's a little bit um, helpful. Linda, this was a terrific introduction to Evernote. We really appreciate your time and efforts to bring this to us, and we hope you all will come back. We'll have other tutorials as we move along. Thank you, Linda. Great. Thank you, Joanne, for having me today. Oh, our pleasure.